I've been in business now for six months and I'm too afraid to pay myself. It always feels when I do, it seems I seem to run out of money even though on paper uh, we are doing well and I have to redeposit a portion of the money I take. How do you decide to, how much to pay yourself? It's funny you mentioned this because for the first six months of my online guy, we ran into exactly the same problem. We had no idea what to pay ourselves, you know. The business, the marketing side's always been something that's come quite naturally to me, but the business side is something that's new and unfamiliar. So, uh, you know, we get, have a couple of grand left over in the bank and then we're like, do we pay that to ourselves? Do we hold it just in case we need to pay bills with it? Uh, and then uh, through just trying to find an answer to that question, I discovered the book, Profit First by Mike Michalowicz. Now, basically this is a book in an audio book series that talks about uh, putting profit first in your business and subsequently uh, answers that specific question that we all face, which is how much do we pay ourselves and how do we guarantee that we get paid and how do we guarantee our business makes a profit even though we're taking money out. And the way uh, Mike goes about explaining this and full transparency, the book is really good, but you really only need to read the first hour of it. Um, the rest is all just fluff. So basically what he talks about is that every business needs five accounts. You need a profit account, you need an operating expense account, you need a owner distribution account, and you need a income account, and then a tax account. That's the fifth one, right? So basically what happens in my online guy, I'll talk about myself as an example, is all of the money that the business generates goes into an income account. So all of our invoices are paid into an income account. So that's like a hold uh, for all the money. And then once a week, what we do is we have ratios between each one of those, right? So I can't remember the exact ratios, but you divvy out and the booker talks about how you divvy that out. And what you do is every drop of income that goes into that bucket, you divvy out as a ratio across all those accounts. So, uh, you know, you, you'll have like 20%, for 10% for tax. You'll have maybe 5% for profit. You might have 10%, 15% or 25% for paying yourself and maybe 40% for operating expenses, something like that. But it's always got to equal 100%. And what you do by doing that is you ensure two things and you only pay yourself from the owner's distribution account. So you decide on an amount, let's say it's $5,000 a month. And every time that gets to $5,000 a month, you take that money out knowing full well that you are going to be able to pay your bills. And uh, the reason it works so well is twofold. Firstly, I don't think it's the best method for doing this, but it's the most effective that I've found. It guarantees that you make a profit at the end of the year. So even if it's a 1% net profit, you guarantee to make a profit. Uh, two, you'll only ever be able to pay yourself as much as the business can afford to pay you. And the reason that is, is because when you set the operating expense percentage, let's say it's 45%. You've got to be able to operate the business within that 45%. There's no stealing from other accounts. So after a month of doing this, you'll soon realize if you're paying yourself too much, because if you have to, if you don't have enough left in your operating expense account, um, then you're paying yourself too much because the tax doesn't change. Generally, you'll be paying yourself too much. So um, there's been months here, there's been months where we paid ourselves less because the operating expenses uh, needed more money. So we had to change our ratio to like 50% operating expense. But what that does, notwithstanding the, the forcing you to only take money out that you can afford to pay yourself, is it trains you to divvy up money and leave your tax money alone and leave the money that costs to run the business alone. So you're always solvent. Because that's a big problem is people will run businesses like this and technically trade insolvent for a period because they have no cash flow. And the best way to kill a business is by A, getting on the wrong side of the government by not paying taxes and not having enough cash flow. So um, until we did this profit first and we were reading this book, I was not comfortable paying ourselves anything because I was like, we may need this money, we may need this money. Now, if there's money in this opera in this um, owner distribution account, I'm like, well, we can guarantee that's money that we can afford to spend on ourselves. And we may reinvest it potentially, but most of the time that's what our salary comes out. And we have not we haven't not paid ourselves in three and a half years. Even when the business was still small, we just paid ourselves less. You know, when we started, we were only paying ourselves like $500,000 a month. But after six months and six months onwards, we just got used to paying ourselves. So we weren't working for free at that point anymore. And there's, it's gotten tighter and more uh, lavish and stuff. And, and the good thing about it is like, if you do have a big windfall and pick up a big client and pick up a big check, well, there'll be more money in your pay account uh, and you can either just take that as a lump sum, sum, 
or you can um, sit on it and just take it out as uh, just a salary. The good thing about doing that is it's really good from a bank perspective too because it shows steady income. But if you're struggling to work out what to pay yourself, I would highly recommend you read the book Profit first and start to play around with those ratios. It's a bit confronting at the start too, to be fair, uh, because when you read that book, uh, you start to realize that actually, uh, maybe I'm not able to pay myself as much. And what that did for us is it made us really look at our operating expenses because I know I knew what we I wanted to earn. And I said, okay, well, the only way we're gonna be able to earn that is either we make more income to fill up the operating expense account and owner account more, or we reduce our expenses so that there's more money as a percentage we can allocate to the income. So that's a really important thing to consider is like, are you ready to confront yourself and go, actually, maybe you are running a profitable business. And if you are and willing to strap up the bootstraps and get to work, it's a really, really good way to, to give yourself insurance that I'm paying myself adequately uh, based on the income that we generate and our expenses, which is really, really empowering. So that's what I would recommend. Uh, Greg, go read Profit First. Go set up some buckets. It takes, it takes like 10 minutes to set up five bank accounts and you just make sure all your clients pay into one account and then you divvy that up once a week. And it's quite satisfying to divvy it up. Um, but yeah, that's what I would highly suggest that you do. So Greg, thank you so much for the question. Uh, if you have a question that's similar to this, business related, um, running a business, uh, you know, look, I'm not the, the foremost expert in running a business, but we've been running this agency now for a while and I've picked up a few tips and tricks. So leave your questions in the comments below and I'll answer them in the next episode.